Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrati Studio. Today we're gonna learn a forbidden animation technique. Doik is a freeware rigging toolset for After Effects. We will create a rotation morph time remapping rig which controls layer replacement animation. With it, when the limbs of a character bend, not only they rotate, but they will change their shape too. First, we have to prepare our layers. This tutorial is not about drawing, so in the description you will find an Illustrator file that I will be using in this lesson. Also, you can use your own material drawn in a graphic program of your choice. Okay, now we have to import our drawing to After Effects. And as you can see, now we have all the layers nicely aligned as they were prepared in Illustrator. Let's see main composition settings. Leave the resolution as it is, everything else as by default. Only change the duration to 2 seconds and pick your favorite color for the background. As you can see, everything looks perfect. Each layer in its place ready to move on. For that, we have to group arm layers into one pre-composition. Leave options as they are and press OK. Repeat the same with forearm layers. Now two new compositions has to be nicely cropped. For that, make a selection with Region of Interest tool and then use the command Crop to Region of Interest. Repeat same steps with other composition with arm layers. First make a selection and then use Cropping command. Now, as you can see, layers have changed their orientation in the main composition, so you have to get them back in their proper position. After that, we start setting up a Duik IK rig. First, adjust arm and forearm anchor points. Then, select both dumbbell layers and parent them to a forearm layer. Accordingly, forearm layer has to be paired to arm layer. Now if you move base of the hand, it should move all the other layers. Now select forearm layer and create Duik controller. It will appear at the same place where the forearm anchor point is. It is important where you position the controller. It should be at the end of the forearm and lower than the forearm anchor point. Next, select ARM, Forearm and IK controller, then in Duik create two-layer IK rig. After that, in Effect controls, change the bending direction to clockwise and turn off stretching. At this point, your rig should be working just fine, but we need to tweak a little bit ARM anchor point. Move it just a little bit and see how it changes forearm rotation value. When hand is stretched out, this value should be as close as possible to zero, but not a negative number. This rotation value will be used by Duik Rotmorph to control time remapping animation. So, now enter arm composition and look at its composition settings. Change time duration to 6 frames, so it's 2 frames for each layer. Then place layers in a sequence, one after another. And go back to the main composition. In a right click layer menu, enable time remapping and stretch layer duration. Now let's tweak two keyframes added by default. You have to add a new keyframe just before the second one, which has to be deleted. Now you are ready to activate Duik Rotmorph. Select Time Remap property of Arm Layer and in Duik window press Rotmorph. Now go to Effect Controls window and set Reference Layer to Forearm. Ok, after Rotation Reference Layer is set, we have to enter Minimal and Maximal Rotation Angle. In Stretched Out position, we left the rotation angle to zero, so now we have to enter only the maximal rotation angle, when the arm is bent. Wow! Kaboom! It works! 
arm drawing is changing in sequence depending on forearm rotation value. After this part is finished, we can proceed and start working on a forearm layer. For that, we have to repeat steps 6, 7 and 8. Enter a forearm composition and set duration to 4 frames. Again, 2 frames for each layer. And as before, put layers in a sequence, one after another, as you can see here. Then you have to enable a timer mapping option. Right click on the layer and use the timer mapping command. Add new keyframe just before the second one, which has to be deleted. Select timer map property of the forearm layer and in Duik window press Rot Morph. After that, let's enter effect controls and leave the reference layer as it is because it's still forearm layer's rotation that we are using. We have to change only the maximal angle according to the forearm position in which we want to trigger timer mapping animation. As you can see, now both layers are morphing according to the forearm rotation value. For today, I think it's enough of learning Duik Rotmorph. We can try and make a quick animation. Let's make some keyframes on IK controller and see what happens. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I learn a forbidden What?